Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Talk about WebG counseling process and tips to get admission in your desired college. Well, first of all, let's move on to the counseling procedure. First of all, when you open the website for counseling, you will be required to enter your details such as your roll number, password, security pin, and so on. But if you have not registered earlier, you have to register first. First of all, we will move on to the new candidate registration. There we will select our desired option. If the candidate has given only WebG examination and not JE means examination, he will select WebG seats only. If he has given only JE means and not WebG, then he has to select JE means seats only. And if the candidate has given both the examinations, he can select both WebG and JE means seats. Now, select the domicile if you are living in west bengal you have to select west bengal and if you are not living in west bengal you have to select outside west bengal now category depends on you which category you belong i am a general so i'll go for general disability if a person is disabled in some aspect or maybe anything then he has to select yes for physical disability and no if he doesn't but please keep keep in mind if you select yes then you will require proper valid details of your disability and you have to produce them while admission in the college now moving on whether eligible for tuition fee waiver scheme or not there are a lot of students who might fall in this category they will go with yes but again they require proper evidence to prove that they lie under the category of eligible for tuition fee waiver scheme and not only that, while doing the registration of WebG, he has to, he or she has to mention there that he lies under the scheme of tuition fee waiver. Only then he will be able to opt yes, otherwise he, he or she has to select no. After submitting these details, we will proceed further. Okay, JE mains roll number, you have to enter the JE mains roll number as I have selected both WebG and JE mains. And if you have selected only WebG, then this option you need not fill. Then moving on to the further details, roll number, you need to enter the roll number, application number, candidate's name, date of birth, and then finally the security pin or the CAPTCHA. After submitting the CAPTCHA and the other details, you will come across a guideline and some disclaimers. After you click on agree, you will be redirected to the new user registration for both WebG and JE main seat page. Here you have to fill in some other details and you will also see the details you have mentioned in your WebG registration account. Your roll number, your application number as well as your All India rank. Now moving on. So this is a very important point. The students who desire to study architecture they need to qualify either NATA examination or JE mains paper 2 examination. Only then they can select yes or else they have to go for no. Now you have to enter your percentage marks in your examination of class 12th board. I will go with 80% and then you have to enter your citizenship. If you are an Indian then you will click Indian and if you are not from India then you have to click outside India. Okay. Another thing about the percentage um, obtained in your class 12th board examination, if you have scored less than 60%, then there might be some colleges which you won't get a chance of admission. If you have above 70% or so, almost all the colleges will allow you for admission. So before you start the counseling, do proper research and check which colleges allow what percentage of it marks and then accordingly sit for the accounts then moving on academic details passing status of 10 plus 2 or equivalent examination so either you have passed the 10 plus 2 or it is incomplete you have to mention that if you have passed you will also have to fill in the details of each and every subject how much marks you have obtained either you have passed in it or not and what was the total marks in your board again you have to enter the year of passing if you are passing out in 2018 you have to enter that if you are 
a drop student of 2017 you have to mention that as well if you are clicking I have passed physics examination chemistry examination or mathematics examination or any other examination if you are clicking yes then do make sure that you have passed in both the theory as well as in the practice only that means you have passed or else it is invalid now let me enter the marks you will also have to enter the marks obtained in your English in 10th standard now you will have to enter your bank account details the bank account holders name I'll just give a test name as this is a test registration bank account number IFSC code the bank name now you have to enter your mailing address then your pin code your email ID mobile number and if you have a telephone in your home then you can also provide that number as well now enter a security question give an answer give a password and do remember the password as you will require the password when you will do a fresh login to your account now ensure that you have filled in all your details properly and check that and if there is any correction to make do that and finally agree and then confirm your registration before confirming also check which are the eligible colleges that you are getting engineering for JE main seat etc etc other wave G seats uh, other engineering courses and what are the courses that you are getting see as I had not selected for NATA that's why I'm getting architecture for JE main seats not eligible for choice filling but if I would have selected NATA yes then I would have got these colleges as eligibility fulfilled now read the declaration and agree it and confirm your registration after confirming your registration you will be redirected to a page where you will <coughs> get all your details and the payment details now pay the amount that is rupees 500 and after you pay the amount you will be el eligible to select your desired college okay so now the payment is done after the payment is done you will have to look into your view available choices click here and just check all the colleges that you are eligible for and the total number of seats available there you can check it here all the colleges you are eligible for are given in this list and according to the rank given and the number of marks obtained in the examination of class 12 boards I have a choice of 505 colleges and streams it might vary for any other person according to his rank as well as his marks obtained in his class 12 board examination now move back to home after you check all the eligible colleges for you and click on choice filling and locking after you click here you will get four options government aided university government engineering colleges private institutions and particular institute wise I would prefer all and select those colleges and streams which you desire and want to take as your career you can opt for unlimited number of choices if you are available with 500 choices you can actually select 500 colleges and lock them for your counseling and you will be counseled on the basis of those 500 colleges only after you are done with selecting you can actually move a college up and move a college down according to your wish or even delete the colleges if you don't want them to be in your list you can also rearrange your colleges according to your choice where choice rearrange you just have to click on the college name and move it to the place where you want to such as in my list in second option or in second position there is Vidhan Chandra Krishi Vishwa Vidyalaya College and in eighth position there is University of Calcutta Optics and Opti Electronics if I wish I can change them and to rearrange those I just have to click on rearrange and that's done you can just check it back see in second position University of Calcutta Optics and Opti Electronics which was earlier in eighth position and in 8th position it is Jadapur University and Vidhan Chandra Krishi Vishwavidyalaya has moved to the 3rd 
so you can rearrange them in this order as well or you can manually put it down or move it up according to your wish okay now coming to the importance of numbering the colleges accordingly put the college of your desire on the top for example if you want to take computer science engineering in Jadavur University which has a very high demand keep that college on the top on place 1 or place 2 and keep the colleges which you are sure that you are going to get put them down there is a reason behind that well, I'll talk about that another thing there is no such ranking of colleges given on the internet you have to judge accordingly that which college is good for you and which college is not and accordingly you have to arrange them in that order now what is the motive of arranging these colleges in order when the counseling will be done on in the first round for example you are eligible to get admission in Jadapur University construction engineering and you are getting selected in Jadapur University construction engineering but you desire to get computer science engineering in Jadapur University which is in eighth position so as construction engineering is in sixth position in second round counseling you won't be able to counsel yourself for this eighth option your counseling will be done for the first five options only I'll give you another example you are a student who desire to study meteorological engineering but you have a very good rank and a very good score that you are eligible for getting admission in computer science engineering in that case if by any chance you are getting selected in Jadapur University in computer science and engineering computer science technology then your option for getting admitted in metallurgical engineering is lost because the counseling procedure works in such a way that if you are eligible for any college and that is coming up first in the column then you will be admitted in that college and you won't be able to proceed into the colleges which are below that row so make sure that if you desire to get into metallurgical engineering then you keep it above on the top and the others in the down now the arrangement of the engineering colleges in this section is totally dependent on your choice and your judgment so the college which you think is good and better for you keep those colleges on the top and the ones which are not that good for you keep them on the down so that there are more chances for you to get into the colleges which you desire even if you don't have the eligible rank no one knows because there are a lot of rounds of counseling maybe when you go to the third round of counseling you might get that chance to get admitted in your desired college well again I will tell you that when your first round of counseling is done you will get a college you will definitely get a college for example Jadavpur University in power engineering or power plant engineering so when you are sitting for the second round of counseling your counseling will be done only with option 1 2 3 4 and 5 and in that if you are eligible to get a college then the previous choice will be deemed null and you will get that for example Jadapur University mechanical engineering then again when you are moving forward to counseling number 3 then your counseling will be done with the choices 1 2 and 3 and if you are getting a better college for example optics and optoelectronics in University of Calcutta then you will get that and your choice of Jadavur University in mechanical engineering will be deemed null and void so the process works like that and after you are done you have to save and go to home and you will get a clear cut notification that how many choices have you filled and how many are locked and how many are unlocked now you have to lock all the colleges for that you have to lock here lock choices and then select all of them I will lock my choices enter your password after you have entered your password you will get a notification again that you have locked all the 12 if you forget to lock all the colleges then do not worry there will be a extended date given within which you will be able to lock your colleges even if you are not doing that 
then the last or the final reordering that you have done that will be automatically taken as locked and granted and your counseling will be done on that basis only and your final results will come out now click on print lock choices and you will get a print out of it in this format and that's all about your counseling i hope you like this video guys don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and if there are any suggestions or you want us to make a videos on some topics do comment down below and best of luck i hope you guys get a beautiful career in engineering and keep watching bye bye